Gun runs coming in from the A-10. Okay, that was pretty cool. We destroyed at least one of those gold T-64s. The other one's retreating. Wonder, oh, we're gonna miss. There are some anti-air there. All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to Regiments. The game has just released as today as I'm making this video. And I realized I had not went back to the mobile defense game mode. Mobile defense basically sees you as the defender. Well, sort of. You start in the supply zone and you get these transports. These transports can carry 100 victory points. You have to make it to, in this case, Alpha and Echo, have the transports in there for a while where they load up like wounded personnel or ammo, sort of just basically leftover stuff that has to be, you know, taken away from the battle before the enemy can run over it. I figured we would play that while also checking out the 82nd Airborne Division and maybe more so also, in this case, going to do something I haven't done before, which is playing on the hardest difficulty, aka Master, which does sound a little bit... Uh, you know, sounded a little bit scary. I should note that I also had the ability to put down points with my engineer points, kind of much like any operations, you have the ability to buy defenses. So I bought some anti-air, some anti-tank guided missiles, and I think I bought some more ATGMs here, and basically, and some more AA here, just trying to hold the general areas. You did get to see, this is an evac zone. This is, this is, I think this, this, and this. And it's gonna like randomly rotate between all these different locations. So whenever a location is emptied and your transports make it back to base and empty those points, they'll be given here and a new objective, say this area, you move your transports there and protect them. Now the enemy apparently seem to be approaching from this area, but they can also approach from this area. And I have seen them come from this area before. I actually played this completely already, but it was on medium difficulty, which I just felt like was way too easy, way too simple. That wasn't really any sort of a challenge. So I figured I would try in on the hardest difficulty and see if there is a huge difference there. So we're gonna find out live whether or not I get completely destroyed and if so, could actually make for some interesting content. So initially, I'm not sure why we know the enemies are coming from here. We can see that, but we're gonna use, I'm not gonna use recon, Never mind. Now the thing is, this 82nd Airborne Division honestly feels really weird. It doesn't feel like a strong contender in the beginning. The enemy could have some heavy tanks, or you could have Abrams, you could have Leopards, you could have T-80UDs, which I think are some of the heaviest tanks in the game for the Warsaw Pact. But the only thing you can get are Airborne and they come in Humvees. Now I should note that these are two out of three VET. They have machine gunners, riflemen, AT, and air defense, and their Humvees are 40 Mike Mike or 40 millimeter grenade launchers, Mark 19, but they're not gonna do anything against an actual enemy tank. Now it looks like there is anti-air here. These T-80s have been mostly destroyed, and this enemy attack has been, uh, it seems like mostly Thwarted. We'll get these transports back to base. Those runs were almost low. You can see it's slowly sucking away to points here and then giving it to the transports. I'm assuming if they get destroyed, then you have to resend transports back to that area. But those ones are now gone. Foxtrot and Delta are our new transports. And it looks like these guys are running away from you. Yeah, they were not going to make it from the battle. We are going to get them back to base. Get them uh, mostly... Well, they took some heavy fire, but they're also down to just 6% of their ammo. And now I guess we get to enjoy the F1 mode where you get to fly your camera around and then the I button gets rid of the UI and the O button gets rid of the cursor and you can actually make for some pretty sweet cinematic shots. Now there's been a lot of talk about the game. I think it has a 90% currently on Steam. And also if you want to check out the game for yourself, I'll have their store page, of course, linked below in the description. I think there is a 15% discount if you buy the game in the first week of release. So if you're interested in this game and you want to get it a little bit cheaper, then that would obviously be the uh, the best way of going about it. Now we did talk about the fact that we have not a lot of heavy units. We have attack helicopters and that's really it. So we need some tanks. So we can either get the Fury, very aptly named task force, 
or we could go for like a mixed one where we get M3, A2 recon, but also Abrams or Abrams with M3 recon. I'm not really sure. We get some National Guard. That seems really crap. I think we just want to go for the Fury Task Force. I like the name of that. We're going to hold on to it now. I don't think there's a point for me to really go ahead and spend those points yet. These guys are almost here. We're sucking our supply dry with our Apaches because they do love to slurp on some ammo. And then those transports are empty. We'll send those to Delta. We'll actually send these guys to Foxtrot. Okay, those are some T-64 BVs. I wonder, oh, okay, are they gonna go? Okay, they're going for the T-64 BVs. Or is there some heavy, ooh, wow. Okay, that cost 50 points, but they just destroyed both of those units. Looks like what might be a good idea is to grab the M1, grab the HQ vehicle. And this way we're going to try to lock down Fox Rock, get enough points out of here uh, before the enemies show up. And it looks like they are heavily showing up, so we might need to get our Apaches out here and get them to support Foxtrot on the flank. We have our M901 ITVs, which I put down here in the uh, sort of setup phase to hopefully help me deliver some ATGMs. Okay, we have started the... Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll send these transports here then. Maybe they just stopped moving once they touched a zone? I'm not sure. I can't seem to... I thought I told these guys to go here, but it's fine. Recon... Oh, oh, oh! Left side. Almost... Okay, almost missed that. Looks like we destroyed this BRDM recon. We have more airborne here and some M551 Sheridans, which I think are absolutely fantastic looking little machines. And they carry the awesome Shillelagh. I think that's how you pronounce it. ATGM, which comes out at a 152 millimeter barrel. And yeah, it looks like they're making a very short work of those anti-air Shilkas, which are also two star, by the way, two veterans. See, Apaches, why don't we send you all the way out here for a flank and see if we can get eye on that enemy artillery firing. Looks like those guys, oof, <laughs> just got shot down. So far, Master doesn't feel super crazy. But is this also my first time playing Master? So we'll have to see if it's just beginner's luck. Wouldn't necessarily surprise me if, uh, you know, down the line, when I try to play Master next time, I play Master and uh, on the Master difficulty and I'll get absolutely destroyed. Because these are Apaches here. I wonder what those are. Those must be the... Oh, they don't like me there. Those are the stupid mortars. But, oh, veterans see though. Can we destroy those mortars, please? Can we destroy them, please? Okay, one more. Come on. I just want to get rid of the dumb mortars. They piss me off. Perfect. Okay, that's all we needed to do. Okay, don't have to waste more. Uh, ooh, I thought that was going to hit something. Technically, what we could do is use our recon. It doesn't spot them 100%, but it spots them to that. Oh, there's a lot of stuff over here. Let's use our A10s just for the hell of it. It might be interesting. These look like mechanized units. So, oh, those are tanks, actually. Okay, that makes it very different. Let's get our transports out of here. And it looks like we have just gone Charlie to pop up. These Apaches need to retreat. Uh, are we going to get no targets on the bombs because we don't find anything? Oh, they're just dropping them. They're just dropping them willy-nilly. Let's see if they get anything. Okay, well, that was actually a good area of effect. Maybe more so than if they just had an actual target because they just seem to just drop them pretty nicely. Let's actually run to Bravo with these trucks. Our Humvees with AT. By the way, these are awesome. I think they're recon, technically. But they also have AT GMs, and they're even one-star veterans, I'm pretty sure. Okay, new task force. What do we really want here? We don't need more Apaches, so we don't need the helicopter team. Uh, we get the recon helis, but they're... That's very expensive. Maybe we just want some rather cheap units this is no maybe you want some bratleys but we don't oh yeah bratleys with a10 guns yeah 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 yeah. let's get that now we have a very cheap call-in to use on enemy uh, units let's see here gun runs coming in from the a10 okay that was pretty cool we destroyed at least one of those gold t64s the other one's retreating wonder oh we're gonna miss there are some anti-air there it's probably some mechanized uh anti-air so like infantry base aa looks like we have some more those might be yes yeah, those are bmp 2s based on our auto cannons i really want to waste those points on engaging them they lost a vehicle they're gold veterancy though maybe we'll retreat these 
get ourselves some Bratley infantry. Transports get in here. Get a recon up. Use our Humvees here to hopefully hold back these mechanized troops. And did we secure these transports? Go here. Perfect. Bravo started this. Okay, actually, this this should be really easy. They should have not a problem with these VTRs. I mean, these are dug-in elite infantry versus... Oh, actually, they're also elite, considering, well, they're two out of three veterancy. But they're currently giving us their flank, and they're just getting absolutely wiped off the map. Yep, they just got destroyed. Let's look like there is quite a bit of heavy units here. And these... Oh, if we can, oh, oh, if we can destroy the Shilkas, that totally turns this around, because now... The AA will probably not be able to support these ground units, and then this could go for some really big hits. We're going to probably pull those Humvees back after... Okay, never mind, never mind. They There must be something still there. Okay, never mind. Are they going to get the guns off? Oh, is he going to miss? Okay, that sort of worked. We've got to get those AT uh, Humvees out of there. Ground sports, oh, they're going to be driving. Uh, a little scary. You can get clusters on these on these units because they are going to be oh okay they're missing never mind they're missing that's all that matters these guys down this way or maybe just down this way abrams are coming in and we're getting points back we can probably buy these sheridans again they did seem pretty good i mean they win gold wonder oh are they gonna do it oh oh they're cluster but they're sh they're way short these bmp 3s are gone there's no way they survive perfect Okay, so that unit's gone. Patchy. Oh, now we have to go back to Bravo, which does seem a rather contested area. Abrams. With these HQ Humvees to keep up with the Abrams. We don't have any eyes on the battlefield right now. I guess I could have... I should have gotten some recon, but I don't want to spend 120 points on recon helicopters. That seems insane, especially because I don't think they have any guns. Let's go to back to Bravo. We have seven minutes to get those points, though, so we can't really afford to lose one of these transports. You have... Oh, I just got hit by the Abrams. Oh, there's more there. Let's get the gun run on that. Maybe we'll put these guys on hold fire. I don't think there's any real reason for these guys to really ever use... To... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. A little bit more than I thought here, huh? Get these M1s out of here. New task force. I don't think we really need anything. Let's get these Raycon just so we can see something, maybe. A10s. Oh, there's a lot of AA there. Nope, nope, nope. And got some slight guns off, but then he was forced off. Gold T64s, gold T80 UDs, bronze like BMP2s. Our Sheridans are going to lock themselves down over here. Our Bratas are being flanked from the left. Let's get some more. Ooh, let's get some cluster on this area. Why not? Might as well try, because we know there's Shilkas there. Okay, Apaches are up and ready. Those transports are loading up. These guys are about to need some ammo, so the supplies might as well move over to these M125s. That's a lot of... Okay, they're gonna... Sh yeah, no, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. They have a uh, ground-based AA over there. And these Bradleys have just lost about all their infantry, so we're actually gonna retreat those, I think. That cluster bomb just destroyed a whole bunch of them, though. Okay, A-10 gun run. I think the Tunguska could be taken out by the Apaches. But it kind of seems like a waste. You know what? Let's use the A-10, I think, on that. Maybe he'll... Maybe they'll... Yeah, maybe they'll be smart. Maybe they'll aim for the correct unit. No, they're aiming for the BRDMs. And they're going to knock them out. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, AA is going to have them in a nice sort of formation here because there's AA here and there's AA there so we should actually be good to retreat both are well actually that's not true only this one is good okay now we spotted them and I should be able to do more damage we'll get an A10 gun run because because we have the points those are like BM those BTRs and those look like BMP B oh those look like BMDs with VDV okay they're really out here these airborne and Humvees they're gonna have to retreat because they're pretty much out of airborne. A-10 gun run doing some heavy damage to those BTRs. BMD taking some fire. We got some tanks. Those could be T... I can't really tell. T-80s? We haven't spotted them. There we go. T-80BVs. Oh, those are dangerous. Those are also really good. They're also gold. And my... Okay, my... Uh, <laughs> my Apaches are almost out of ammo. 
uh, which is now. Let's get our helicopters back. Let's get you back. We did knock out those BVs. We have a lot more units coming in over here. Let's get Cluster because we can maybe see them. Get the M1 now out of there. Get the Humvees out of there. And then I think all we have to do now is just put one of these... Trend we'll put both of them in at the same time just for the flex. But I think that's pretty much a victory. See if this does anything for us. Oh, there's some sort of AA there. Is he going to still drop it? Oh, he is. That's honestly good. But I don't know if he dropped it accurate because of the suppression. No, they dropped way... Okay, that's unlucky. And that is going to be a double transport moving into the zone. Objective getting us, looks like, 750 points. And managed to win with our Apaches and our M1... Oh, those are AI M1 piece. No, wait, those are mine. I had M1 IPs. I thought I had regulars only. But yeah, our Apaches doing doing really good. Our Sheridan's doing some interesting stuff. And um, I guess the enemy, even on Master, was not as difficult as I thought. But I do intend to check out some of the other game modes on the hardest difficulty in the near future. I think the attack game mode on Master could be uh, could be a very challenging. For now, hope you guys enjoyed this little video looking at regiments. Love to see you in the next one.